Hey, you doing here? Okay. I, uh, I'm watching to see if the camera works. It shut down twice on me. I figured out something. Okay, I think it's going to be alright. It's got to run on the battery. Because of, because I glued the USB cable to the back of the camera because it kept uh, falling out and was about to ruin the connector on the camera. But I had it plugged into the charger so it would run as long as I wanted it to. But that makes it think it's plugged into a computer or, or else causes something even worse. <laughs> anyway, the camera just shut down. Because when it's plugged into the computer, it's supposed to, it goes automatically into a screen where you can either transfer files or uh, a USB the camera to the computer, you know, video feed to the computer. So anyway, so I've got my uh, lapels on, on my 16-foot cable, so I'm tied to a tether. And I wanted to show this computer here uh, that was given to me recently by Jeff, my old neighbor. He came by and I traded him two broken monitors for a working monitor, and a work, one working computer, and a UPS power supply, Another computer that actually I think it works. This one don't work. Actually, it needs the buttons. The button's stuck. I don't know if it's broken. It's got to be replaced. Or I'll turn it around and show you this one over here. It, it's got I think the operating system's met, uh, full of viruses or it's broken or something. But the computer came on. I remember that. I turned it on once. But this one is the newer one. I think it's a Lenovo. I've got it. This is just where I, it's been setting. So. Uh, I was going to take it over there, and then I thought, well, yeah, I think I will. Uh, I was I'm going in circles with things not, not ha happening the way they should expect them to. Uh, anyway, this is my stack of old computers over here. You can, I, I got it close in on this one. Heard a noise. I didn't know what it was. Cold out here today, this morning. It's... Well, it was 4 or 4.30 when I came out, about the time I came out here, and I've been out here probably for 30 or 40 minutes trying to get all this going. But, uh, you know, nothing, nothing ever goes just right. Yeah, I was going to take the take the uh, cover off so I could look right in here, but I can do that over there, and I'll just turn the camera around. Uh, I think, well, yeah, that way I can show... That way I can show and tell. I like to uh, go ahead and turn that camera around where I'm going to be at. I like to show. You know, you wouldn't be able to see anything but me standing there, so that wouldn't be no good. And there it is. And uh, I might have to move the camera over closer if I really want to show it, but right now let's just get the cover off of it. I'm used to... Usually when I work on computers, I just do it in the house where it's comfortable, but uh, I don't see my favorite sc screwdriver. There it is. So it's darn cold, you don't want to touch anything. Okay. Uh, I usually stay to where I can need something to put the uh, screws in while I work. Here we go. It's always my favorite. Right there, I'd put it over there where I don't accidentally turn it over so easy. I don't think. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take it in and check out that button, but I want it to first thing you always want to do when you get a new computer is see how much dust is in it and clean it out if it's as dirty as they usually are. So uh It's not as near as bad as a lot of them are. Uh, but that's on the tripod. I think I'll try standing it up and point it towards the camera. I guess if it was on its feet, it would Oh, That's sharp stuff. Okay, can't let go of it, really. The, I'll show the inside better. It's got two RAM sticks in there. They're in good. Not a lot of dust, so I'm going to just use a vacuum cleaner. I usually, to really clean them out, it, compressed air is the best thing. I got a compressor over there, 
and I could have just blown it out stand it sitting right over there what I usually take them outside because I don't want to even you know this old computer dust is really it's like you feel like you're getting ill the instant it touches you it's just so strong the stuff that uh, it's got an SATA hard drive that I can't stand being near it so you and I've been kind of waiting well mostly because I you know when I, I have to go by when I feel well enough to do this stuff but also I've been waiting for time I, like right after I take a shower I don't want to go blow dust out of a computer you know so uh after I get done with this I, I haven't had my shower yet so take it then <laughs> okay yeah I've got this all ready to go so <laughs> Here by the first off. Now that little box might be handy. There's some more uh, vacuum attachments over here. I was looking for one that would uh, fit that big hose. And oh, there's an adapter to little to big to little. Usually for uh, stuff like that, I got to remember I'm not going to get it. We get to get ten minutes on this. It's still working, yeah. It, uh, the, the the little the, the smaller holes I usually use it for stuff like this. It's easier to move around and it's and this thing is real handy. But I can adapt over to it. I think, yeah. And. Uh, the little one got stopped up with tile grout. got it open and in here where I can clean out here where I can clean this is where the button is it's uh, stuck down <laughs> can't get really any closer than that to this camera it won't focus that's probably might be too close right there it's stuck down so it may be that the, I'm hoping that the button's just stuck because somebody got mad at it and pushed it too hard not that it's not uh, the switch itself isn't broken. Okay, let's see. It's got some keepers in there. Yeah. 
try getting these loose first and then see. Yeah, there we go. Oh, those are all. Oh, no, they're made to good. It's actually a good design. Get those loose and it just comes. I have another one that they're all clips and you have to reach it in there and unclip every one. And I do have, that's why I started off out here. Let's see, I do have a. Okay, that's. Yeah, that's still working. It's kind of. It's really, yeah, it's. It's just kind of flapping in the breeze, really, I think. But. Wait, maybe it's not still working. Oops. I can't see it good enough to tell. Can you? Can't tell where. I gotta put it where I can see it. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, it is broken. There's a. It's got a. It's got a. I can have to put it on my uh, close-up camera inside to show you that. But it's got a piece of plastic that's kind of a. It swirls back and forth in a kind of a strange S shape, and that's the spring. I can tell, but the other side, it's not made to move, but it broke. So somebody, somebody pushed real hard on it and broke it. But I can probably just. Uh, if that's all it is, I can probably... It probably pushed real hard on it because it wasn't working, though. It's usually the way it is. And I see a little micro switch. That's not the kind of switch I was expecting. Oh, it looks fine. It feels fine. I thought it was going to be broke. It looked like it was shoved down in the... Down in the... Uh, it's, it's housing... Let's go ahead and vac. No, let's go ahead and. I was going to show it so before I forget. I'll try and show it. So, a circuit board with a micro switch. See, I was expecting a real hardware switch. This has got a circuit board and it plugs into something there. And, uh, but it switch moves. So, as long as it's not enough, some of that circuit could be bad. So, this could be a lot less straightforward. Got a whole bunch of wires going to it. It must have a lot of conditions on whether it comes on or not. I don't know, maybe it turns on certain, you know, functions or lights. Well, it's not, doesn't have a bunch of lights. Everything looks fine. So, uh, I could hook it up to that monitor there and see if it, or I could uh, take it in the house. Let's see how where that monitor cable is laying. It's it's laying right there. It's still getting. I'm getting pretty chilly now. I just put on a flannel shirt and I'm wearing my shorts. And I didn't expect to be out here too long. I think I'll fiddle with it inside because I'd much rather make a few more trips out here to get uh, get things. You know, like switch, I, I don't have, I've never seen a switch like that. I think most of my computers I've got are a few, probably about five to ten years older than that. <laughs> this one here.
Okay. Vacuum that and get it nice and clean and then just shake. Oh, I just shook stuff in my face. I didn't give myself a favor in the least. Should not have done that. Okay, so... Uh, Yeah, there's no sense. I, I was thinking about staying out here and fiddling with it some more because I have parts out here, but I don't have a circuit board like that. So if it don't come on, I mean, I'll have to, the only difference is I, instead of carrying it right over there, I'll carry it into the house and and then maybe for nothing. But well, it's not for nothing. I'm gonna be finding out what's wrong with it. I'm trying to find a a bottle, empty bottle. I've got jeans of them, but. Oh, they're over there. Now I can't get to over there. Well, that's all right. I can live without... A, I'll put them in my... Whoops, no. That's where my remote is. Did I turn it off? I've always got an extra empty bottle out and ready to use except for right now. Well, I've got plenty of screws, but they shouldn't fall out of my back pocket. Put them in my back pocket. Okay, so I'm going to leave the front cover off. And I'm going to vacuum the side cover just a little. Forgot. Well, I believe that's really the cleanest computer I've ever used computer I've ever got a hold of and been given. And pretty much always, all of them, I think every used computer I've got has been given to me. But, uh, and how do I get them given to me, you say? Well, I work on them for people for free. Some people, just some people, once in a great while. I used to do it more than I do now. I fix, I do the, I do a lot of, been weeks working on software or months and then maybe once in a while for somebody you know Jeff usually and then maybe once in a while he'll he comes across some free computers that he don't want and he'll bring them to me yeah I was joking I had two broken monitors and he was going he was going to throw these in the dump and because he didn't want to keep them he didn't have room didn't want to keep you know keep them anymore and uh he asked me if I'd be interested in them, and, and uh, anyway, I had. Then I remembered I had two broken monitors, and he had he had two working CRT monitors, and I got one. And I didn't want two of them. I've got one right here that works that I use out here sometimes, and then I wanted. I used to have two, and one of them broke. <laughs> Trey, let me see if I have my keyboard opening key. I might do it if it'll fit in there. I mean, not keyboard. Uh, I think it's too big. Usually I use a, a straightened out paper clip. That was something that was in my pile of stuff here. I know I've got one there. There it is. That's one of the ones I've kept for doing that with. Where did the little hole go? There it is. Now, I can uh, kind of get, if there's any dust in there, I can get it out. If you've got a uh, CD, DVD drive that won't open, that's what you could do to get it open, even without it plugged in.
if you do that when they're plugged in, then you got to, they'll jump out. As soon as you touch it, there, that button in there, there's a button in there, and you're pushing it. And it's not a regular button. It's kind of, I don't think it's the button that activates it. I think it's sort of like a, a get, like say if you, I don't know how to explain it, but like that sort of. Like, well, let's say somebody pushed on my elbow and, and then it goes like that. That it's over. I don't remember the right word. When when you've got a crankshaft, it's like a crankshaft. If you push it far enough, it it would can continue to go like on a on an oil well pump or a. I'm not talking about a, a multi journal crankshaft like in a V8 engine or something. I'm talking about like a single, maybe a lawnmower engine might be something like that. That kind of principle, of course, they won't do that because the rings have friction in the cylinders, but anyway, I can't think of the right thing. There's all kinds of machinery that have actions like that, and I just can't think of any of it. You know, I think I'll just put this back in its place and get it in the house, and then it comes off really easy. So it'd be a lot easier to carry it in one piece. There we go. Now you can go in the house. What's me? Okay. But. <sighs> yeah, I'll do it like that. Let me put my tools up out here. I hate to put them in here and let them get cold again, but they gotta, they gotta be somewhere. All right, so I didn't have to do that while you're waiting. All right, so uh, I'm going to shut it down, stop the video now, and uh, uh, I can't remember how to stop it properly. Oh, yeah, I guess with the remote. Anyway, uh, there we go. Uh, I'll take it in, get it set up in there. And then I'll hook it up to my monitor in the house and test it and see if it's uh, going to come on. All right. See you in a little bit. Does that work? Well, you hit the uh, little blue button with the picture of a video camera and it makes it record. But then that don't make it to quit when you when you hit it again. This is the weirdest remote, weirdest camera all around. The menus are just crazy. But I'll just go to the back of the camera and stop it, because if I hit the red one, which is the one you'd think you'd hit, that's actually the power button. And that will shut it down and break your video. It'll still play, but it loses its... It won't tell the players how long it is or anything. It will still work in most players. But anyway, I'm just going to find the button. And... Uh, and turn it off.